Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, EA have released the League One Conforma uh, Player Pick SBC. It is another League SBC. Hopefully we will be getting an objective form of a storyline card as well from the League One. But this is really, really, really convenient because just days before this came, or days before today when it came out, I've been stocking my club with League One players because that is pretty much the main league in my team. It has my best players um, in it. So I've been really hoping that they will give us a nice card for the SBC. They ended up giving us a left wing, which is perfect for my team. So I will be doing them today. Hopefully later in the year they don't add another, another guy to the SBC that's like 86 because this will make it kind of pointless. But basically I'm going to be going through these and uh, opening all the packs and finally getting the reward at the end. Um, so yeah, I've, you know, I've done all this. I've had to touch up some of these teams because they weren't exactly uh, following the requirements. But most of them I actually had and they were for cheap. So it's 220 players from the league un um and let's say about an average of maybe 600 that's like that's like 140k that i spent on it um so with footbin telling me that the sbc right now is 200k plus i've made a lot of profit depending on the packs as well I think I even got it for cheaper than about 140 because a lot of these players I bid on, I've been bidding on them. Um, I want to say for about two days I've been bidding on guys who are about only 250 coins and I've been getting a lot of them. There's been a couple of days where a lot of people are actually um, online trying to get them as well. But you know, a lot of them I'm getting for 200 to... Uh, 400 coins, so I probably actually only did this for about 110 Maybe 115 K and that is absolutely fine for me uh, Because we get 20 packs as well. That's gonna probably get us some more coins back um, And ultimately I'm at a million coins right now. I'm pretty happy with my coin balance and all that so I'm fine uh, Taking that hit I packed Rashford in my squad battles rewards. So I got 50 K there so right now we're doing good um, profit-wise on this SBC. Now, before um, before we get into opening all the packs, I will show you the player uh, going into my team and how he's going to fit in. I'm probably going to go for the left wing. His name is Melita. He's from uh, Nice. I actually just sold him because a lot of these teams I actually had extra players for, and I ended up... Uh, having to sell them off So uh, we get a bit of bonus coins for, back from that as well But it looks like a lot of decent little gold packs here premium mixed players pack which aren't usually good But a lot of times can have little gems in them. I think last year I packed Lewandowski in one of these packs No, that was this year. Excuse me. That was start of the year. I packed Robert Lewandowski in a mixed players pack um, And then I think I also packed I packed his team of the season last year in one of these mixed players pack. Of course, it's a different year. The pack weight is a bit different. Uh, but right now, I mean, is there only two silver packs in this whole league? This could turn out to be really, really profitable. Um, I think if you're just starting out from scratch and you only have like 10 of these uh, 10 league un players, I don't think it's worth it to spend 200k on these because honestly, it's probably not going to work out for you. Although it's, it has everything to do with luck, I just don't think that uh, it is worth it to do this SBC. Um, but yeah, we're going to... I'm going to probably skip through a lot of the packs because they will be dead, uh, most of them. But uh, we're on Olympic Linos now. Some of these were really tough. The Dijon, um, SC Dijon, Nimes Olympic was hard. Uh, FC Metz was hard, and uh, RC Strasbourg, and some of these Stade de Reims and Stade de Bruyne. Those were probably the most difficult ones because everyone was already predicting that uh, they were going to be expensive, so the silver players were already up in price. But I think the most expensive player that I paid out of this whole uh, 220 players was probably about 
1K for one of those uh, silvers. As we submit started the rhymes or started the rims, I don't know. Um, a lot of small gold players packs in this. Hopefully we can get something decent out of one of them, just one of them, um, just to kind of give me back a bit of what I paid for this. I honestly don't mind spending like 100K for that 84 player because it's just a cool card and then he fits in my team perfectly. Um, so yeah, two more teams and then we have to finish up the PSG one because I didn't realize it, but that actually only needs six PSG players and then the rest need to be Liga 1 Conforma. Um, so it looks like we have uh, four or five, four or five silver packs um, overall and then the rest are a little mixed players pack, but we do get a mega pack from the PSG. Small gold, small gold, a lot of small gold, small prime, Electrum, that's pretty good. Premium Electrum is good, small prime Electrum, small prime Electrum, mixed players, premium mixed players. We got four of those, so that will be nice. And then finally, to finish off the League One SBC, only, only a couple hours into it, um, it came out probably at 10 today. So we're only um, about four hours into this being released and we've already completed it. I need to get just one one or two more League One players to get the rating for this. And I definitely will have some left over. All right, so we have officially completed the Mega Pack PSG SBC there. And we have completed in only four hours. And it probably would have been shorter if I wasn't at school, but we have done the League One uh, SBC in FIFA 20. These are the two rewards. One of them is a left back. One of them is a left wing. As you can see, the line, five star weak foot. I didn't realize that. Only right foot as a left back. Don't really like that. High medium work rates could be better. Got decent stats. Not very much uh, defensive. Uh, not very good defensively. And we look at Melita, who I probably will be taking. Decent finishing in 83. Um, nice sprint speed, dribbling's pretty good with 90, uh, 90 dribbling, 85 ball control, agility and balance are pretty good. Uh, strength, stamina, and jumping just aren't that good though. His physicals aren't, uh, aren't anywhere near top notch. But he will be the man we are selecting. So, Melita, the left wing, comes into the team. Four star, four star, right foot, medium low isn't the best. But we will show you really quickly how he's going to fit into the team and then we'll pop into the packs. Um, so this is my squad right now and he is going to pop right here instead of Bomba. Going to give everyone the good chem and all that. I'm really, I'm really happy with this SBC. I'm, I'm really uh, happy that I prepared for it. Um, and as you can see there, perfect. Um, perfect left wing for us in this formation. I probably, I might even play him at striker, honestly. Boost is finishing, who knows. But that is going to be all for the SBC. Now we get into the 20 packs. I will probably skip around this part just to make the video uh, a bit shorter. But if we do get anyone good out of these silver packs that cost a lot, I will definitely show you. But I'll be back when we get to the gold packs. How can it be this bad? Premium mixed players pack. In 20 packs, we've got 183 rated um, card. I think we've got 181 and maybe a couple 80s. Other than that, this has not been successful at all going into the last two packs uh, regarding profit and all that. It's just not worth it. It works for my team, so that's why I did it. But this is just really bad, and if the Mega Pack can save us, fine, but I feel like you should be getting more from these kind of packs. We get another rare there, but not a board um, from our Electrum Players Pack. And if I don't get a rare, if I don't even get a, a board from my from my Mega Pack, that, you just know, pack, it's, it's just pack looks so, so bad. So here we are. The Mega Pack, the final pack for the League 1 SBC, and I think that is a board. Not going to be a walkout, of course. 
Switzerland goalkeeper, probably going to be Berkey. Okay. So it's not Jan Sommer, but it is Berkey. It's unfortunate. Is there anything hiding behind him? Player pick, 81 to 83. So that's not bad. Munir might sell for a lot as well. The Mega Pack isn't as much as a disappointment as I, as I kind of predicted it would be, but it's still not the best getting Berkey. Um, other than that, the packs were just so, so bad. So bad today. Can this save us? Maybe we get an inform off of this. We do not. We get William Carvalho. Who is going to sell the most? I don't know. I'll take William Carvalho for the rating. But that is going to be all for the League One SBC. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you don't mind leaving some support down below. We got ourselves Melita today. And he plops himself right into the left mid in my squad. Again, just looking at the stats real quick. Looks pretty decent. Um, but would I recommend this based on the packs that I just opened? Probably not. They were not good at all. And for 200k, starting straight off the bat, I just don't think it's worth it. Anyways, that's going to be all for me. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.